Okay, thank you so much, Momentum. This body of work is made with recycled clothing and waste fabrics, natural dyes, and found materials. The project was completed during my last semester at the MFA textiles program at Parsons when I was able to do an externship. Uh, the garments are returned to Eileen Fisher once they're no longer wanted, then they're cleaned and will either be resold or when they're no longer sellable. Sorry, Liz, Liz, sorry, the connection is very bad. Liz, Liz, can you maybe turn off your camera? The the garments are... We can't hear you. Oh. Um, I'll turn off my. I think if you turn. Yeah, I'll turn off my. Computer. Yes, I think it's better. So we, if you, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move and keep the camera off. Okay, so the garments are deconstructed and then used to create new felt fabrics, which can become new items, including clothes accessories, homewares, and art pieces. To build the new fabric, the deconstructed garments are layered and run through an industrial felting machine. When I arrived, I was given a felting machine to use and access to all of the discarded garments that are waiting in the warehouse space for their next life. The machine has a pair of rollers that pull the fabric through the inside of the machine where it's punctured by a set of barbed felting needles and the needles stab through the fabric repeatedly as it moves through and break the fabrics down while the barbs on the needles catch the fibers from the different layers. Uh, the fibers start to entangle and join with each other as the needles lift and lower until the fabrics bond together into one thicker piece. Engaging in this work makes me think a lot about resourcefulness which is so basically human and yet also needs to be engaged with effortfully because of the way we typically live. I fell in love with this whole process and the fact that it offers us this opportunity to challenge our consumption by being more creative in our approach to materials. The entire operation becomes about making with an appreciation for where materials come from and where they'll end up. Eileen Fisher has prioritized using high quality natural fibers, which lend themselves well to felting. Um, my pieces are made mainly from wool, linen, silk, and cotton garments. And while this work is very exciting because of the solution it offers to issues of waste, it's also a very therapeutic and thought provoking making process. There's an ignition of personal reflection in this process, as well as a call for consciousness. Much of the work becomes a form of abstract expressionism for me. In my own reflections, I contemplate my personal perspectives and how the lens through which I view the world impacts my well being as well as the environment around me. This piece was made from, uh, as a form of tribute to the act of mending, and I selected a pair of pants as the base because they had been mended many times over. So I wanted to continue the effort the original owner had put in so thoughtfully and to add my own embellishments with reverence using scraps from the earlier panels I made. In addition to the art panels I created, I decided to make something that would incorporate motion. This piece was a contemplation on the idea of being open to change and striving to hold space for responsiveness. I built this mobile combining the recycled fabrics um, the recycled fabric felt and patchwork pieces I sewed together from waste fabrics, which I dyed with natural dyes. Each piece of the mobile was finished by hand and embellished with hand embroidery. And since completing this project, I've been fortunate enough to be hired to work full time at Waste No More as a designer and fabric maker. So I'm very happy and excited to continue this work and together with a talented team, I hope we'll discover even more opportunities for circular design. Uh, I'm very grateful to be able to share my project and speak with all of you about this work. So thank you so much for your time and thank you for this opportunity.